Hello, this is Devin from WP Theming, and I have a fresh install of WordPress 3.0, and I'm going to show you how to set this up in multi-site mode. So to be able to change it from the standard install, which is just one site, to a multi-site, you will need to update your WP config file and your .htaccess file, and you will need FTP access to your site to do this. But if you have all that set up, it's fairly easy. You can either follow the instructions on this uh, page or you can go to the codex for create a network. And you'll need to copy this little line of code called define wp allow multi-site true and paste this into your wp config file. Um, so I'm going to my FTP client and I'm going to open that file and you put this piece of code right above where it says that's all stop editing happy blogging and paste that in there and then upload it to your server and you'll see right now in this install under tools there is no option for network but now that I've added that line and refresh my browser I'll see that up here so you see that tab right here go ahead and click on it and you'll need to choose whether you want your multi-site to be set up as subdirectories or subdomains. You should note that some hosts don't allow you to set up your multi-site as subdomains. Um, a lot only allow subdirectories. So if you want to set up your site as, for instance, site1.yoursite.com, you should check with your hosting company to make sure they allow wildcard DNS records. And I use Bluehost, and currently they don't allow subdomains, so I'm going to keep it on subdirectories, which means my new sites that I create will show up as mysite.com slash whatever I choose to call it. Um, I'm just going to keep the defaults for my network title, uh, theme query sites, and my admin email address, and then click install. Now you get two more lines of code that you need to add um, one to your WP config file and the other to your HT access file. So I'm simply going to copy this out, go back to my WP config file and just add that code below, below where I added multi-site and upload it. And then I'm going to change my HT access file and paste in this code. Um, you may or may not have an HT access file. Um, if you set your permalinks, that will the HT access file usually gets created then. Um, you can always though just create a new HT access file from scratch and upload it. And once you do that and go back, uh, WordPress will ask you to log in again. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Put in my username and password. And now when I log in, I have this whole new admin panel, which allows me to set up my new WordPress sites in multi-site mode. So just a quick demonstration of how to do this. If I wanted a new website to be themequery.com slash mysite1, I'd go ahead and create that and call it mysite1. And I'll just keep myself as the user and now I have a new site called my site one. Um, so when I visit this site, I'm seeing the default theme and the title of the blog is or the site is called theme query. And when I visit my site, it takes me to this new URL URL themequery.com slash mysite1 and you see that it has a different um, blog title. Just to confirm that this is a completely different website um, with a completely different settings, I'll go ahead and enable a new theme and then click on sites <clears throat> and manage the back end of this site and I'll go to themes and activate this new theme I want to use on my new site. So 
So now that I've activated that, it should load with the new theme. However, my base site theme query will still have the old theme. So just a quick demonstration to show you that they are indeed totally different things. Hope uh, this demonstration video has been helpful and good luck using uh, the new multi-site function.